What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, Ice Universe put out a tweet showing a Galaxy S24 Ultra next to it. And it was it was two of them right next to each, to each other. He says, what does this look like? So I don't know if he's dropping a hint that the next Galaxy Z Fold 6 is basically gonna be two Galaxy S24 Ultra in terms of the size of everything, the back and the front, or not. But what was cool is somebody named uh, Tech Avenue put these two phones together and made a giant Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, as he puts it, and it's right next to a Galaxy S24 Ultra, and you can, also puts it next to a Galaxy Z Fold 5, and it dwarfs the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Z Fold 5 looks tiny compared to the Z Fold 6 Ultra or Z Fold 6, whatever you want to call it. So it begs the question, is this what we're going to get with the Z Fold 6? Because we've heard that it's going to be a bigger phone on the outside display and on the inside display. We don't know fully exactly how much bigger because this one looks mighty, mighty bigger. And I know some people probably don't want the phone to be that big, but like if you think that we're potentially going to get a giant Z Fold 6 and it's going to be that size, that thing is going to be super thin because they're going to be able to put a really pretty big size battery in there, especially if the, the whole size of the phone is, is large. They don't have to make the phone that big to put a, a bigger battery in or even really keep the battery the same. They can make it even skinnier, which I'm hoping they'll just make it bigger with the bigger battery, which I think they'll end up doing. That would make complete sense and give us a phone that is worthy of having to pay almost $2,000 for it. Not to say that the Z Fold, you know, one, two, three, four, five hasn't been worthy of that price tag, but when you pay that amount of money, you want a phone that in almost every way is the best phone that that company puts out or is really close to it at the very, very least. Um, you know, with the Z Fold phone, you're getting a phone with a massive display and it's hard to go from a folding phone back to a non-traditional to a traditional regular phone, um, a lot of people feel that way. No, not everybody, but I would say the mass amount of people that have a folding phone and they enjoy it. Once you go back to a regular phone or you just try someone else's phone, it just feels like you're missing out on something. And um, if they make the Z Fold 6 like the way this looks, this will be a huge selling point because it'd be a completely different feel to it. You know, you're going to get a regular size outside phone like you would with the S24 Ultra. But then when you open it up, you get this huge canvas, huge canvas. So multitasking will look better. Gaming will be more immersive. Um, you know, if you want to watch a video and do a website surfing or website and um, whatever, it's going to be more enjoyable because you'll see more of the display. And when you see more of the display, that's where the immersion is improved and that's where the experience is improved. And if you make it lighter and skinnier, people are going to be like, you know what? This phone feels really modern. It's got a huge display and it feels super premium. And maybe they'll even throw in those premium cameras. I don't think they will like they have on the S24 Ultra phones, but there's still a possibility that they will. So let me know if the phone ends up looking like this, is this would would this definitely make you buy or you'd be like no it's way too big or i still don't like folding phones what, what, let me know what you think in the comments down below thanks for watching have a great day and we'll see you down the road merry christmas by the way peace